all right guys three videos in two days what is this christmas no it's not all right let's get right to it that was a little lame but um news broke today involving the jaguars personnel wise um aj boye jaguars have agreed to trade aj boye to the denver broncos uh, for a fourth round pick now this trade can't be official until i think like march 18th is what it was until like the new league year um, but i guess the trade is already in place so the jaguars will um acquire aj boye i mean the jaguars will trade off aj boye for um the broncos fourth round pick now i was more excited when i first saw this because i was like oh man broncos you know they didn't finish off with a very good record last year they so it's gonna be a high fourth round pick but no it's a pick that they actually received from the 49ers so obviously the 49ers were in a super bowl so it's a little bit later of a fourth round pick but anyways you know there's some things i like about this trade and there's some things i don't like about this trade um aj boye was a guy that when i was doing my cuts and whatnot i said that i would probably cut him because if i were to have to choose between calais campbell or aj boye i probably would have chosen calais campbell and um i mean aj boye he's saving us 11 and a half million dollars and we were probably going to cut him anyway so it's good that we get something out of him um, but it is a little bit emotional for me. I mean, it goes back to his college days because he was a UCF guy. Um, he, his final year at UCF, I was a freshman. So obviously, you know, we all like our college guys. So he was a UCF Jaguar, I guess. Um, and also, uh, he was also a part of the amazing 2017 team, the Jackson Five. He was a pro bowler, all pro guy. But really after 2017, you know, he had like, I think six, interceptions in 2017 but only, he's only had two since, since then and he i mean honestly he was always pretty solid i mean after that like he was putting up really crazy numbers and he had a really good year in 2017 but since then he's i would say he's been above average you know he was never he was never a liability but he was never really explosive he was great in pass coverage i thought he was a little bit worse in the run game uh you know when it comes to tackling i mean like we've seen Derrick Henry stiff arm him and like a couple other guys. But I mean, other than that, he's a solid, solid player. But I mean, the Jaguars, we are acquiring draft picks like crazy. Two first round picks now. Uh, and now we have two fourth round picks. So that's six picks in the first four rounds. So we are just kind of uh, getting, I mean, we're getting, we're acquiring a lot of picks right now. But uh, at this point though, like what direction are we taking? Like, I would be so fired up. I would be a lot more excited about this if we had like the old, like if we had a new regime in here, you know, if Dave Caldwell and Doug Marone were gone, we had a brand new GM, I would be all about gutting the roster and getting new guys on, you know, and, and you know, acquiring draft picks and training away our guys. Because as you guys all know, I love draft picks. Ideally, you build your team through the draft, stockpile draft picks, and you know, you win like that. But, um, but at this point, what? Like, what's our direction right now? Are we going to let Day Caldwell strip this roster to nothing and then go through another rebuild? I would be all about going through a rebuild with somebody else, but are we really, is Shad Khan really letting him go through this again? Because I was sitting here, I was like, okay, we got Dave Caldwell back, we got Doug Marone back, we're in win now mode. They have to prove it this year, but we're gonna get to the point where the roster is not good enough to win, and that's gonna be their excuse to stay around a while longer. So how many GMs in the history of the NFL have been able to gut a roster down to nothing? That's what he did when he took over in 2013. He gutted the roster to absolutely nothing, and then he was allowed to build the roster back up. And, you know, obviously we peaked in 2017 after spinning, after having back-to-back -back this big, free agent you know class is just spending a bunch of money and then you know all we have to show for it is one winning season all the other seasons have been double digit losing seasons and we're gonna allow a guy to do that and he gets a chance to completely pit the roster again and go through it again like what what are we doing like what what is that like, like give me a break man like what it where is the urgency what what are i, I don't understand it i don't understand the direction um, I mean, like I said, I would be all about a rebuild, but I'm not, I don't think he should be allowed to do this again, but whatever. I mean, we got, um, you know, we got some draft picks for this. Hopefully, um, I mean, you know, with all the holes that we have and hell, now we might not be able, be able to sign free agents anymore with what's been going on in Jacksonville and everybody bad mouthing us. But, 
you know, Drat picked out the play for us. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? So, uh, obviously, it's an interesting situation with the Jaguars. Um, and one thing I do got to say is, like, all respect to A.J. Boye. He wasn't like Jayla Ramsey. He wasn't like, um, you know, Al Robinson. Like, he, he said, look, thank you. I appreciate everything Jacksonville did. He didn't, like, badmouth us on his way out. No drive-by insults. Um, you know, of course, even Jalen Ramsey and I was weighing in on all this stuff. I mean, I don't know. I don't see how anyone can be a fan of Jalen Ramsey anymore. I mean, the guy just constantly bad the Jaguars. I can understand maybe if you're leaving, but you don't have to keep doing it. Even Al Robinson is out there doing it. Whatever. I'm getting a little bit off track. But uh, A.J. Boye, we trade him our fourth-round pick. Now there's huge holes at, start, at cornerback. You know what I mean? Trey Hernan is obviously one starter. We have DJ Hayden and a nickel. But, you know, who's the other guy? We're definitely going to have to spend at least a little bit of money to get a, you know, a low-end starter at that spot. But, you know, I would imagine that, um, you know, with six picks in the first four rounds, we're going to get – we got it. I mean, we're going to be pigeonholing to get a cornerback somewhere in there. Hopefully, the, hopefully we get a situation like we did, you know, in – like 2019 where you know like in the second round we get a real value to fit a need with like how we got Juwan Taylor at right tackle last year hopefully you know something similar like that happens and um you know we can get somebody you know a lengthy guy you know there's it's a good cornerback class so we probably I'm thinking that we will be able to get that but um yeah that's that's the news Jaguars trade AJ Boyd to the Broncos for a fourth round pick so i mean best of luck to aj boye you know i have his jersey <laughs> uh nowadays i don't even know who like what what jerseys should we recommend people get now i mean everyone's just going my next jersey i'm not a big jersey guy but my next jersey will be probably a ucf jaguar jersey because that ain't never leaving duval till we die baby but all right guys thanks for watching the video go jaguars i'm out